morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely fantastic. I know the start of my day is going to be fantastic because I have these beautiful clutches of eggs to pull today. Well, at least one Kluber clutch, and I think that we're going to go ahead and check and see if we have any other Kluber clutches as well as ball python clutches, whatever. Regardless, this is a beautiful clutch of eggs right there. Ooh, doggy. Look at mama. Oh, it's okay, mama. Oh, my gosh. She's cranky this morning. I'm going to just try to slowly pull that clutch of eggs so she lets go over there and I think that she's done I'm actually not hundred percent oh yeah she's definitely done yeah she's done I'm gonna go ahead and leave her in just in case just in case she has an egg or two but she looks like she's done to me she is actually an oka tea head for scaleless corn snake I'll go ahead and close this up and I'll just pop her right back in here just to make sure I didn't see that there's any other eggs but the fact that she was laying a little weird I'll leave her for an hour or two and she was actually bred to this male right here that is absolutely stunning Ooh, doggy that, of course, is a scaleless Abbott's Okati. Oh my gosh. That is one gorgeous animal, and he's fathered a bunch of clutches this year. So this clutch is an unbelievable clutch right here. I mean, this time of year, you don't expect to get this size clutch, and you certainly don't expect to get this fertility. Looks like we have one little tiny slugger at the end right there. And then we've got this egg over here we'll put in here. We'll go ahead and count it up. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven good eggs. Oh my gosh, I would like to start the day every day like this. So I'm just going to go through and see if we have any other Kluber clutches, and then see what else this day has. Let's have an amazing day together. A couple clubbers that are starting to hatch. We've got a few things that are pipped out, but this clutch kind of surprised me because, again, I've told you guys before that Brooks King snakes hatch usually about a week before other snakes as far as they go like 52, 53 days incubation, whereas most other snakes go 60 plus days. But this one's kind of hatched out and was like, whoo hoo, man, these things are incredible. Look at these things. These are actually snow jelly Brooks Kings. Oh my God, these are unbelievably adorable and I think I've produced like one or two of these in the past but never an entire clutch and look at the feisty little monkeys right there these guys are unbelievable I'm so happy that I'm producing Brooks Kings again because we used to produce a ton of Brooks Kings I mean it was one of our biggest producing colubrids outside of maybe corn snakes and then the last couple years we've literally produced not even one clutch of Brooks Kings so the fact that we have a handful of clutches this year is amazing and just look at the colors on these I mean you see the red kind of dotting in the sides and as these get a little size to them, man, they look so incredible. And Brooks Kings, although they're little feisty monkeys when they're babies like these guys, the truth is they are really good pets. I mean, super docile. They get big. They can get six plus foot long and they eat like crazy. I mean, just a really good, healthy, heavy body colubrid. So couldn't be more excited to hatch a bunch of these little monkeys. Taking a little break from the action because we're going to do a little egg cutting really quick. Just one clutch today. This is actually a pinstripe that's bred to a Woma Lesser pinstripe. But you know, the thing that's amazing is a big clutch, like 10 eggs. The thing that's always cool is you never really know what you're going to hatch. The other day, we literally had an azanthic ball python hatch out of a clutch that wasn't even had for azanthic. So every time you cut a clutch, you really never know what you're going to get and when you're going to have that surprise. I'd say at least once or twice a year, we get like something really crazy that I don't even know what it is. So let's go ahead and jump into these eggs and see what we have. First egg here. Let's see, and of course I always say that we can only guess when they're in the eggs. Once they hatch out, you got a much better chance of knowing what's going on, and right off the bat, I've got a Woma Lesser pinstripe, which I would assume is gonna be the best thing I can produce out of this because the pinstripe is incomplete dominant and then the Woma Lesser pinstripe are either all co-dominant or incomplete dominant as well. So there's not like really a ton of really great combinations. The best I should probably get is the three genes, but sometimes when you breed pinstripes to pinstripe, you get even a reduction of pattern. So who knows, we might get something really crazy. Regardless, first egg was pretty cool. Second egg, you know, I'm just hoping for something crazy in this clutch. I don't know why, I just have that feeling like maybe I'm gonna produce something that I go, I don't even know what that is okay so what we have here is it looks like really pretty looks like another Woma lesser pinstripe so hey so far so good right I mean the odds gods have been on our side so far and hopefully with any luck they'll continue to give us awesome stuff. God, I love cutting python eggs. This looks like a Woma Lesser. Now the Woma and the Lesser gene kind of mixed together make this kind of like, I don't know, real soft, sandy looking animal that I really like. That's a beautiful snake right there. I tell you what, I love it to death. Let's see what we have here. Number four. Let's see what we have here. Gosh, I tell you, so far some really beautiful animals. Again, another Woma Lesser pinstripe. But interestingly enough, like I told you, with that pinstripe to pinstripe, sometimes you get a reduction of animals. These Woma Lesser pins are really reduced in pattern, looking absolutely incredible. So again, really awesome so far. Number five. 
Tell you what, this clutch is going pretty quick. Number five, what do we have here? And oh, just a normal pinstripe right here, which is all right. You know, it just looks like a pretty pinstripe. And I tell you, you know, we produced the very first pinstripes in 1999. Seems like forever ago. But uh, I remember cutting the very first pinstripe and being like, oh my God, it's genetic. Because I bought the animal out of West Africa, not knowing if it was going to be genetic. And it's awesome all these years later to still be able to cut pinstripes. All right, moving on to this egg right here. See what we have. Okay, what do we have here? Whew, I tell you what, another Woma Lesser pinstripe. So, hey, if you guys are gonna be in the market for Woma Lesser pinstripes, guess what? We're gonna have a couple here pretty soon. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So, okay, we've got two, four, six. We've cut six eggs so far. We're on egg number seven. Here we go, number seven. What do we have? A little darker animal in this one. Again, another pinstripe, probably a Woma pinstripe because the thing with the Woma pinstripes is they have thinner bands and then they have some like kind of side saddling that is a little bit different than a normal pinstripe. So I think that's a Woma pinstripe. Uh, we have a few more eggs to cut. This one right up on the top. We'll see what this one does. Let's see. Here we go. Another Woma pinstripe, okay. So, so far we've been getting what I expected. Still was hoping for that kind of really cool, weird one. I mean, you know, hey, that's the way it goes. You can't, can't get everything right, but uh, I'm pretty excited about what's going on this year for sure. We have so many more clutches, it's, it's crazy. Really good year, both colubrid-wise and python-wise. Another Woma pinstripe, that one is kind of buried in the back, so it's a little bit hard to see, but it is definitely a Woma pinstripe. And last day, come on, let's get something amazing. You guys know I always love ending the cutting with an amazing animal. I don't know why, I've always been that way. So let's hope that that is what the case is. And weirdly enough, it is just a lesser ball python, just a normal lesser ball python. But all in all, I tell you what guys, I still love cutting eggs, even when you have a clutch that you're not anticipating to get anything too crazy with. But trust me, we have a ton of clutches that are coming that are gonna be ridiculous odds. So uh, as a matter of fact, I think we have a clutch that I was really excited about that we're gonna go ahead and pull right now over in the dungeon. Down in the dungeon and we have one clutch of ball pythons today and I love this female right now. Look at this girl, she is so amazing. She is actually a fire yellow belly. She is bred to a calico Mojave bee. So again, it's Mojave, it's pastel, it's spider, and it's calico. And breeding it to a fire yellow belly should make for some crazy babies. And I tell you what, these are some big eggs. She was loaded up. I remember before she laid, I was like, oh my God, girl, you look big. Oh, come on, girl, you're good. Wow, what a beautiful clutch of eggs. Good job. Mama, you did so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and just remove these eggs really quick. Put them over here before mama bites me. That's okay, mama. She's just being a good mama wanting to protect her eggs. But I tell you what, that is an amazing clutch right there. I'm just gonna open up this box right here. We'll put them in here. We'll get them counted up. Definitely gonna have to take these eggs off and kind of separate them out. This egg is perfect right here. And then these eggs are gonna have to get separated out a little bit too. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. I tell you what, that is an absolutely gorgeous clutch of eggs and a incredible potential. You add that fire and yellow belly already into the Mojave Calico Bee, whoo, it's gonna be some pretty babies. But that's it for Python eggs for today. We have a handful of other pythons that should be laying in the next couple days. So don't you worry, we'll be collecting some more soon. I actually have one tour today. And then later on tonight, we actually are open at the Reptile. So it's gonna be a really fun, busy day. So let's go ahead, let our first tour in and have a good time. And my tour is here. How are you guys? It's so good to meet you guys. I really appreciate you coming in. You said you're from the Baltimore, Maryland area, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I hope that the trip will be worth it and we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff, right? All right, let's Absolutely. do it. Right. Thank you guys are Thank amazing. You. Drive safe on the way back uh, and uh, stay in touch, right? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys. Thank Bye. you. 
All right, boys and girls, it's time to open up at the Reptarium. And you guys know I always have a great time, so let's just uh, open up to the public and have a great night. Okay, we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna feed Lucy. Uh, everyone's here watching. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll see what happens. I think she's gonna be ready. You ready, Lucy? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, girl. There you go, girl. There you go, sweetheart. All right, well, she took it and I live, guys. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see if Daisy wants to eat. You wanna open the door yes, for me? I got you. There you go, girl. <laughs> All right, so Daisy definitely took, she's definitely turned on. All right, everyone lived, right? Uh, we'll see, we'll okay, see. Good, 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 good. So Lucy finished up her first rabbit. Uh, my buddy Yanni is here from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, you have a spotted python, spotted so python, it's yeah. just like feeding a spotted python, just a thousand times bigger. Okay, so, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and have Yanni, uh, being the fact that uh, he doesn't normally get an opportunity to see a snake this big in Australia. Uh, of course they have scrubbies, are about the biggest animal there. Uh, I am gonna try to, uh, let's see here, we're gonna keep everyone away, if that's okay. And then go ahead. Oh, she is in. He's coming to get you. Okay, you ready? Just get that rabbit up there. Are you ready? Yep, right up to the face. Up to the face. A little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Right there. The bumper. Oh. You can just even just just a little bit. Yeah. There she is. There she goes. <laughs> nice and gentle, awesome. huh? Yeah, that was great. Think, man? That was amazing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I had to give him that experience. Lucy, you're absolutely amazing, girl. So uh, that concludes the feeding at the Reptarium tonight. All right, guys, so as we're winding down here at the Reptarium not too long ago, it's been an absolutely amazing day. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Feeding snakes in front of everyone is always a blast. It's been an amazing day, and I hope that you guys have an amazing day because I love your beautiful faces. Do me a favor, be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.